This is it, people. Tony Cross last game was a defeat against Spain. Spain 2, Germany 1, and Spain are qualified for the semi finals of Euros 2024. Congratulations to them. And I will ask you to help your brother out by subscribing to the channel liking the video commenting down below so we can keep the conversation going danny olmo 51 minutes and Mikel merino 119 minutes floria vint scored for germany in the 89th minute danny carvajal got a red card he took one for the team in the 100, 120th plus five extra time added time you want to call it whatever it is what it is anyways we're gonna talk about some details here from that game shot 30 23 for germany 18 for spain shot on target five for germany six for spain possession 52 for germany 48 for spain so you see germany were dominating because they are playing home this is their euros and unfortunately they're not gonna win this euros played in their own country kai Havert had some very very good chances he didn't score. Musiala didn't really have a very, very good level of football today. The way we know him, right? I'm not saying that he was awful or anything, but you know, Musiala is Musiala and you expect more from him in the game like this. But I'm not going to blame on the kid. You know, you see Kai Havert and other adults in that team that could have taken the game to the next level and they didn't so congratulations to spain we gonna let me even check on the lineups here right? look at spain morata williams yamal 16 years old rodri oh my lord he got injured and i'm praying fingers crossed that is not that bad I think the kids are playing so much football at the moment and you know they are getting injured now it's rodri pedri remember him when he um what i'm talking about pedri is the guy who got injured it's a lot of confusion here bear with me pedri is the guy who got injured and he got subbed rodri didn't get injured let's not get that twisted and i was talking about pedri been playing a lot of games and um and they need a, a lot of rest remember uh a lot of young players now are getting injured everywhere because games are just coming thick and fast that's what i meant finally finally i got there oh simons was in goal carvajal who got the second yellow and red card Le Normand, Laporte, those are my French brothers, but they decided to to start playing for for Spain. Kukurea almost gave away a penalty. That handball wasn't handball because Kukurea was taking his hand already at the back. He didn't mean it. That was a correct decision not to give Germany a penalty. And look at Spain, not bad. Kai Havert in front, Gundogan, Sané, Musiala, Cross, Emrik Chan, Raum, Ta, Rudiger, Kimmich, and Noya. Well, it was a, a tough game and the best one. That's the reality of it. Let's jump to some reactions on social uefa man of the match was danny olmo he had a very very good game i have to admit that 
according to you, is that should be a penalty or not? Look at the position of Marco Correa. You know, when you slow down everything, everything you look worse. But if you watch it in real time, his hand was away. You know, he was putting his hand at the back. So I think it was a correct decision not to give a penalty. But this is the kind of situations that will create a lot of reactions on social media and that's how business works. So it's going to be a debate and you are not going to convince anybody because people got opinions. Ben Jacobs said here that a good call by Anthony Taylor not to award the penalty against Mark Correa looks more obvious than the one given against Anderson. Okay. Kai Harvard troll. People are trolling Kai Harvard. <laughs> Energy. Look at him. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> <laughs> mostly coming from Chelsea fans if you look at it closely <laughs> oh my lord let's continue let's continue some reactions here live score said that Spain finally beat a host nation in the major tournament knockout game so they don't they, they, they usually don't beat the host no sh <laughs> what i'm talking about host nations in the knockout competition wow 1934 1950 1980 1984 1988 1996 2002 2004 2018 and finally in 2024 it was a Congratulations to them for breaking that hoodoo. Not how Tony Cross would have wanted to end. Very, very sad. Yeah, he deserved to end with a big trophy. Well, he got already the Champions League. But, you know, imagine if he went to win Euros with his country and then say goodbye. Tony Cross takes his final bow. After 928 games, 261 goals contribution, 33 trophies, absolutely a legend. And he's still like 34, 35 years old. He still has at least two or three quality years in the very top, top level. I don't know why he's rushing for retirement. I hope that he comes back because we saw even Zinedine Zidane you know, retiring and then coming back. We've, we've seen so many of them. Even himself, Tony Cross, he retired from the national team and then he came back. So why not? Fingers crossed because we still need midfielders like Tony Cross. All right, all right, people. So you can tell here it's, uh, it's all celebration for Spain and tears for the host nation germany all right we already talked about this so how many titles this legend tony cross won six champions league oh my lord six and arsenal as a club they don't even have one one champions league but tony cross got six lord <laughs> One World Cup. Yeah, he won the World Cup with his nation. Three times Bundesliga winner. Yeah, when he used to play for Bayern Munich. And then three times winner of Pokal, which is like the FA Cup over there in Germany. Four times La Liga winner. Wow. Six Copa de la Rey. Oh, no. Not six. One. Are you serious? Only one Copa de la Rey? five uefa super cups wow four times super copa espania which is like the super cup of spain one time 
uh, let's say the German League Super Cup, one time German footballer of the year, truly one of the greatest. Apologies for the fire truck outside. I don't know, they're going very fast to save somebody. So it's all good. So, yeah, look at Yamal. He needs three people to mark him <laughs> Tony Cross, Musiala, and all that. Wow, wow, wow. Somebody said that Saudi will bring him out of, out of retirement basically yeah we want to see him come to the mls brother come to the mls tony cross please <sighs> it is what it is people leave your comment stay tuned because we have another game coming up and we're gonna make a, a video about it and don't forget to check on other videos that we made before copa america transfer news we have few channels okay we have the green turf youtube channel we have the GFC YouTube channel. We have this channel. Yeah, a few channels that we do different kind of videos. So all the links in the description down below so you can be in touch because we always post something interesting daily. And we also do watch alongs and call in shows. You can just click on the link and call us, stuff like that. But it is what it is. Congratulations to Spain. And goodbye to Germany.